Mars is the only planet inhabited exclusively by robots. Right now, Mars is only home to rovers like Curiosity, Perseverance, and Tianwen-1 in 2024. And this situation will continue for a while because there's no immediate plan to send humans to the Red Planet, at least not in the near future. The dreams of colonizing Mars are driven by several reasons. From ensuring survival in case of disasters on Earth to seeking resources and improvements for Earth's prosperity. During the Cold War, the space race was all about competition between the USA and the Soviet Union. Today, private companies like Orbital, Northrop Grumman, Sierra Space, and SpaceX are leading space missions, driven by figures like Jeff Bezos of Blue Origin envisioning a future where millions of people work and travel in space. Despite the excitement, colonizing Mars in the short or medium term is impractical and risky, due to four main reasons that make it challenging. First, to travel to Mars, we need to overcome Earth's gravity, which pulls objects towards the ground. The speed needed to escape this gravitational pull is 11 kilometers per second, and the best way to achieve this speed is by using rockets. However, rockets are inefficient because they require large amounts of fuel. For example, to send one ton of payload into space, we need a 40-ton rocket, with most of the weight being fuel. This adds complexity and cost to space exploration. Second, Space enthusiasts are eager to reach Mars in the coming decades, aiming to skip long-term plans and go straight for this goal. Mars is over 200 million kilometers away from Earth, with launch opportunities occurring every two years on complex trajectories. A journey to Mars takes about 260 days with current technology, roughly the same time an astronaut spends on the International Space Station. This journey challenges our understanding of how space affects humans. Potential problems include muscle atrophy due to lack of gravity, vision impacts, and possible neural health effects due to prolonged space exposure. The absence of a magnetic field like Earth's exposes astronauts to solar radiation, increasing the risk of chronic diseases. Third, surviving on Mars requires efficient use of water and oxygen, with essential resource recycling closed ecosystems, like those experimented with in Biosphere 2 on Earth, show challenges, including oxygen replenishment issues and psychological issues among participants. Highlighting the importance of rigorous scientific and social approaches for successful Martian missions. Fourth, colonizing Mars is not just about survival, but also about maintaining psychological stability for collective decision-making. The selection of colonists cannot be as rigorous as that of astronauts, and challenges include creating a habitable environment, managing stress, and avoiding crisis. Nuclear energy would be essential, albeit risky. Many uncertainties remain, from plant adaptation to efficient construction. A colony would heavily rely on Earth and be vulnerable to accidents, raising questions about the costs and motives for colonizing Mars. colonizing Mars for mineral resources and industrial prosperity faces huge challenges, like the current inability to transport large amounts of matter between planets. The survival argument is even more complex, requiring a self-sufficient colony capable of sustaining babies and children, which currently seems unfeasible given Mars' adverse and unknown conditions. Rushing colonization would be disastrous, and any Martian colonization goal must first ensure sustainable survival on Earth. Exploring and colonizing Mars is inevitable for humanity, but it requires careful and calm approaches due to extreme challenges. Overcoming these challenges depends on significant technological, medical, and psychological advancements, along with detailed research missions to study the planet. It's essential to ensure excellence and stability of civilization on Earth before attempting to colonize Mars. 
Addressing terrestrial problems is crucial to successfully tackle the moral and technological challenges of a Mars mission. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content.